Hey there, fellows. So today we've driven to a field, and it is pretty nice out here. We've got this smooth little road. As for the reason we've come here, remember we made that film with the offset centerpiece wheels? We had a lot of fun. But I feel as if we didn't quite flesh that whole thing out. But this time we've made us an assortment of wheels. What we have right here on the car has an offset of about 20 millimeters. That's by how much the hub is moved off-center. And though you'd think that 2 centimeters isn't all that much, but we'll see what actually happens. Also, we just couldn't help ourselves. And of course, we've made us some wheels with ridiculous offset, which we welded out of what we had. And also, we did our best to reinforce them to keep them from falling apart prematurely. And on top of that, we have prepared a, um, let's just say, amusement park grade set of wheels. Something really crazy. But we'll get to those a bit later. So for starters, I suggest we sample the wheels with minimal offset. Obviously, these are going to cause some discomfort, though I could be wrong. The suspension just might soak it all up. What I want to do is see how fast I'm even able to drive on those wheels. Okay, well, let the experiments begin then. Engine is running, it's all good. Now I suggest we slowly get going. Yeah, we're going to be taking it easy for starters. Keep the revs at idle, and off we go. Okay, we're moving. The car is moving around in a wavy fashion. Now we're not running a welded diff in this one. It's a regular old open diff. And if it so happens that one of the wheels slips a little bit, the frequency should start to switch up. Of how the car is shaking around, I mean. But now let's try going a bit faster. This is going great! You can uh, hear stuff rattling, knocking noises. But once you get up to a certain speed, and we're maybe going about 50 kilometers an hour, all of that disappears. So I guess when you're going this fast, uh, the wheel's rotational speed is at a level where the suspension isn't keeping up? I mean, there is a bit of motion, but it's nothing terrible. It's not overwhelming by any means. But I'm not going too fast. I guess I can bring the speed up somewhat. Dust flying all over the place, this is going well. I can't really gauge the behavior of the car. It is jumping around and vibrating, but the car is still controllable. We were expecting the car to tremble, to be sort of floating over the road, but in reality nothing was happening whatsoever. This calls for some welding. We have gone and welded the suspension in place. No articulation, none of the suspension bits are going to work. It's all just welded in place. And uh, now let's see how the car is going to behave when it effectively no longer has a suspension. Let's go! Suspension welded up. Let's drive a bit faster. Feels like an amusement park ride. This definitely isn't the road, it's all the car. For crying out loud.
Won't exceed 150 on the way home. <laughs> There's no floor. It'll be fine, here we go. Taking it easy. <laughs> Haven't had this much fun in a while. That is so rough. Better make a detour. We made it. Put it there, give me five. We survived! <laughs> so here's the deal, guys. When elements of the suspension, such as the springs and shock absorbers, are deactivated, the offset center pieces on the wheels make for one hell of a time. You would have seen all of us flying around inside the cabin, but we're done with the 20mm offset. Now we're going to sample these wheels with the extreme offset. Install them and try going for a drive. Oh, this is actually very nice when you're moving slowly. The car is way more, I mean... When you're driving real slow, it's quite fun. But once I start increasing the speed... Should have put a helmet on. All right then. Marina. I'm doing all right. Oh, where are we going? Why were you going so slow? Did I drive faster? Yeah, you were way too slow. Say goodbye to your back. I think I might have hit you a couple of times. I don't know. 
What do you need to do? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on like this. To the wheel? The wheel, put your feet and lower back into it. It's okay when you push yourself into the seat. Okay guys, so with this sort of extreme offset, the car is undrivable. Unless you keep the speed below 7 to 10 kilometers an hour. But I did say in the beginning that we've got a few more curious wheels, which I suggest we install and see what happens. Right, so we've got us these two enormous wheels with ridiculous offset. Yeah, the offset is just huge. Why just the two? Well, I'm afraid the engine won't have enough power to propel the car with a set of four. But we are now running a couple of wheels with extreme centerpiece offset on the rear axle. And I suggest we try, yes, try driving around on them. And just see what happens, let's go. Okay, so the transmission is in gear. Slowly release the clutch. And the car is making an attempt to move. Okay, we are on the ground. Wheels have turned. And let's give this a try. Oh, wow! <laughs> like on some sort of roller coaster. They're synchronized for whatever reason. Yeah, it was a bit better when they were synchronized. Let's see. Yeah, I still think it should... No, one of the front wheels is definitely getting airborne. The right, I mean the left one. I can literally see the left corner of the car getting lifted up. You know what? Uh, on wheels with this sort of diameter, it's actually... Now oh, there it goes, now it's jumping around. I was just about to say that it drives nice, but now this doesn't feel good at all, if I'm being honest. Very nice. Oh, what's going on? What was that knocking noise? That clunk. The door seems to be taking a whooping. Oh, the door is closed back. Okay, well, um, even though I had to take it easy, I mean, that was quite a bit of amplitude and stress. But one of the wheels is broken. The bolts have broken off, but we still have one big wheel. We replaced that with a smaller one, and let's carry on. Okay, it feels as if the whole right side of the car is getting lifted up. Yeah, definitely. There you go. No way. Yeah, this is not a very comfortable drive. When there were two big wheels in the rear, it was more or less comfortable. But now, not so much. It's doing this stepping sort of movement. Oh, 
So here's the situation, guys. It has broken, as in it fell apart. So if it so happens that you misalign a wheel while installing it, yes, the suspension is not going to thank you, but it's still going to be able to handle it and keep everything in check. Well, at least the suspension in this particular car, though it should probably do alright in other cars as well. You guys saw it all for yourselves, and that's it for this video, catch you guys later.